The mental barriers that I have run into and I feel like every team roper has run into at some point in their career is trying to do too much in a run, uh, trying to be too mechanical. Um, the mental side of things is called the conscience mind is doing too much. We're not allowing our muscle memory to react and do the things that we've trained it to do. So the one thing that I've been really working on is keeping my conscious mind and my subconscious mind in separate states where they each have their job. My conscious mind is strictly just for scoring and that's all I focus on. And after that, I have key words that I try to keep relevant that set off triggers that, that muscle memories are set off, but that's allowing my conscious mind to do work. Um, I think the biggest thing, like I said, is too mechanical. Um, the one thing I learned that really, really shook me was roping scared is the same result of careless roping. Um, they've done tests where roping with fear, competing with fear, the fear of losing is the same result in your, in your performance as careless roping. So I know personally I've spent hours and hours practicing and over tried and then scared of losing and I've performed worse or the same as guys that just don't care to be there. And that was really frustrating to see it happen that way. But then when they explained it, that roping with fear and the fear of losing is the same result of careless roping, that, that, really, that really hit home. So trust the process. Uh, it, like the guy that I've talked to a lot, he really preaches on there's only two outcomes. You either win or you learn. So there's nothing to be scared of. So rope with confidence, trust everything that you've done, and uh, yeah, just don't be scared of it.